Hi, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to kick off a little Valentine's weekend vlog. I always love to go big for the pink and red holiday. So exciting. And so let's start it with a little Starbucks order. I'm in the drive-thru right now and I'm going to get my coffee and a snack. So I will show you what I got to start the warm fuzzies for Valentine weekend. So I just got an order of the egg white bites. These are the ones that have roasted red pepper. They're so good. Um, and I think probably one of the healthier things at Starbucks. And um, I got a decaf Americano with just some extra milk in it. So it's like a little creamier, but not as creamy as a latte. I just ran in to check my PO box. You guys are so sweet. You send the loveliest things. I just get all like emotional, all verklempt every time I <laughs> check my mail. But isn't this mask so cute? My aunt found the cutest embroidered masks on Etsy and she sent me a bunch for like Valentine's Day. Look at this, it's just so cute. And uh, yeah, we're running those errands. I am finally home. I thought I would do a really quick grocery haul because I got some of my favorites from Trader Joe's. So milk, that's kind of boring. I got these beet crackers because I thought they'd be cute for a Valentine charcuterie. They're red and I've had these before. They're pretty good and the ingredients are pretty good. Um, these yogurt pretzels are so, so yummy, salty and sweet. I really like their guacamole there, so I got that, and I thought this was cute for Valentine's Day, so I couldn't resist some fudge sauce. <laughs> then some freezer favorites. I really like this Indian meal that they have, and it's vegan. I got this one for Nate. I don't know, I don't think he's ever tried this before, so hopefully it is also good, but I saw on the Trader Joe's um, Instagram to heat these up and then put them in a tortilla to make a burrito and I thought that was a really cool idea. And then I got some pasta. I saw this on their Instagram too. Basically their Instagram has been enabling me and I'm here for it. <laughs> but we really love pasta that's like in the shape of little purses and that's what this is. So fiocchetti? Fiocchetti I think is how you say it. So I'm hoping that that is as delicious as it sounds. And then I, this is probably like my top favorite frozen dish from Trader Joe's. This gnocchi is so good. So delicious. And then I also got the cauliflower gnocchi, which is also really good. And I thought I would combine them and maybe it would like, you know, have like half of a vegetable alternative, but still have the pasta deliciousness. And I thought I might add some peas to that as well. I got this almond flour I'm gonna do some baking with. Their baking supplies are just the cutest. Look at the packaging. And then I got some peanut butter. This is just peanut butter. No salt, no sugar, straight up peanuts. <laughs> I, this is my favorite, favorite hummus from there. They have a lot of different flavors of hummus, but this one is so good. And then when they mix in other vegetables, it also makes it, um, I think, a better like nutritional bargain. So that's good. I love their pomegranate seeds. It's just so easy to just get them like this and they're really yummy on top of guacamole. Diced onions, avocado, lemon. I really like their beets, but these are just ready to go in their produce section, already nice and ready to eat and they're good in salads. They're good with cheese, they're good with eggs. They're so yummy. Mushrooms, peppers, strawberries, tomatoes. God, this is like, an embarrassingly cheap bottle of wine, but we really like their table wine. It's organic, but it's like $4. Um, but it's really not bad for just like a table wine. Nate picked it out and I had to admit, I like it a lot. And then I also got, this is our favorite like sparkling wine from there. Isn't that cute too? Everything is so cute at Trader Joe's. And that's like $6, so that's also a really good deal. Um, my nephew-in-law recommended that. Thank you, Ramin. And then I got some bread products. I <laughs> got pita bread. I love pita bread. My neighbors growing up were Lebanese, and I would always sneak over to their house to have pita bread with them. So I've loved it all my life. I just realized, oh, okay, I did get hummus, yeah. Got some tortillas. And then this is another Trader Joe's favorite for us. These little rolls are so good. They're lightly sweet, but not like desserty. They're really good like little sandwich rolls. They would be good with maybe like a crab salad. I don't know. They're just they're they're so useful for all sorts of different little snacks. And then I also popped into Walgreens. It's so convenient that Walgreens is next to my Trader Joe's. 
because these are my cotton squares of life and they're pretty much the only reason I go to Walgreens but I have to go fairly often to restock these so make sure you get the premium cotton squares if you want to experience the pillowy goodness. I love these so much. So I stocked up on those and then they had the nails were half off so it was five dollars each and I thought for that price I might as well give it a try. I don't know if I'm gonna like these like jelly nails that are see-through kind of but I thought it might be fun to play with those. I got this set as well. Kiss nails aren't as high quality as static nails which I prefer to use. By the way this manicure is a pink, milky pink static nails that I painted the heart onto. And I did a little quick tutorial on my Instagram, so you can go find that in my nails highlight if you want more information on my nails. But yeah, that is the haul, and I need to get this stuff put away. Some chips and guac with my boy. <laughs> I'm just about to wrap Nate's Valentine gifts. So this thing, it's kind of silly, but he likes to be on his iPad in bed and he can never really get comfortable holding his iPad. So I got this. I hope it turns out to be comfortable. Isn't it kind of cute? It looks like a little couch and you prop your iPad right here and it can just sit in your lap or on your chest. So I thought that might be kind of comfy for him. I got his favorite candy, snow caps. And then I got him a silk pillowcase because I have one. And whenever I'm like making the bed or he's helping me make the bed, he has to make a comment about the fact that he has a plain old cotton pillowcase. And I know he's kidding, like he doesn't actually care, but I just thought it would be funny to surprise him with the real deal. So it's like this sexy black silk pillowcase. And I think he'll enjoy having a little extra special treatment. And then I got him a little beard trimmer kit. He's been growing his beard in quarantine and it's getting quite prodigious and I noticed that he like trims it with like little kid craft scissors I don't even know where he got them so I got him a proper set of beard trimming tools it has like two different pairs of scissors here it has this cute little beard comb and I just thought that might make him feel a little more manly <laughs> so years ago I started making these paintings for Nate of him like swimming is the theme because he's such a cute little water boy <laughs> and whenever he gets in a pool or the ocean he's just adorable so I've made these over the years this is an example of like my um talent when it comes to painting like very simple and cartoonish but then over the years I wanted to try to advance I really wanted to try to capture like the sparkle in the water this one's so so but I mean I just, I'm not good at like people and faces, so then I was like doing silhouettes. <laughs> and um, finally, last year, I was like, I want to do a high quality painting. So I actually snuck a picture of him in the pool and I like edited it on my computer to make it look like a painting and then I shellacked it onto the canvas and then I hand painted on top of it. So that's kind of my cheater method. <laughs> and then this is the one. He's getting for Valentine's Day. So the same process, I made a painting out of a photo from when we were in Palm Springs and then I hand painted over it. So I'm not that talented, but I actually think it turned out really cute. And this is the first one I've ever done vertical. So his collection is growing. It just, it hangs here in the closet because I'm kind of embarrassed of my subpar painting skills. And I'm trying to decide how I want to wrap these gifts because I have tons of cute, girly, valentine -y wrapping paper with flowers and pink and red and stuff, but I just don't think he'll want anything too girly <laughs> for his wrapping. I have some plain red paper, maybe I'll just whip something up with that. I went with a black, white, and red theme for him. Actually, that pink bag with cherries is to me from me. <laughs> I'll show you guys what I got myself later. Um, but yeah, I put my gifts under the tree. I love my Valentine's tree so much. I'm sitting in my messy bedroom. I haven't made the bed yet today. Um, but I have to show you my plans for tonight because I am very excited. Today is February 13th, technically Valentine's Day officially. And I also just felt like the day before Valentine's Day is a good day for like some self-love and like 
I don't know, if you have a fun date on Valentine's Day, you can get like all smoothed and polished and everything. It's a good time to do beauty treatments before that. So I'm planning a facial tonight and a spa bath, a themed spa bath. And if you are familiar with me and my work, <laughs> I take my themes very seriously, so I'm so excited. I think you can guess the theme if you've been tuning in lately because I have been obsessed with roses. So let me show you what's in store. All rose everything. I am so excited. We're gonna have a whole rose themed bath night. So I have all the rose products, bubble bath, oils, Epsom salts, soaps, candles, everything. So I will show you that once I get that set up. And then first I'm also gonna do a rose facial. So I have every single step of an extremely <laughs> intense skincare routine, all rose products. So I am beyond excited to say the least, but I wanna get everything like set up right now and clean up <laughs> so that I can have a relaxing little Galentine's evening. I just took all of my normal accoutrement out of my bathtub area so I can make way to like really set the scene for my romantic soft love rose bath for tonight. Um, I'm gonna go <laughs> way more in depth on this in a future video because you guys have expressed a lot of interest in my themed baths. But for now, I just wanted to show you the process. Um, I have this bath tray, I just got this one. It's so much better than the one I had, I'm really excited. There's like a lot of storage space. <laughs> and I am very grateful that this apartment has a bigger tub, still not like a tall girl tub, but I'll take it. <laughs> I'll definitely take it. Um, and it has a little extra space around the edges so I can put my cute rose stuff in here. And here is the result. I put all the rose stuff on the tray and tons of candles and things. And it's like ready to go. All I have to do is add water. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, like pro self-care tip. It doesn't feel like self-care if you're like rushing at the last minute, like you're ready to take your bath and then you're just now trying to set the scene at the end of the long day. So I usually try to sneak away to set it up in advance like this. Like this just took 10 minutes. And you know, like you probably spend that much time sitting on your phone flipping through Instagram at some point in the day. So I'll just do this instead. And then when you're ready for your little self-care moment, it feels almost like somebody else set it up for you. It's like, oh my gosh, who did this? <laughs> like, this is so nice. This is so nice of you. <laughs> so I will give you like a little more of a tour later, but that's the behind the scenes peek at what is to come. I'm so excited. I also cleaned the whole bathroom, like scrubbed top to bottom, cleaned the toilet and then covered it with this faux sheepskin because I, I don't find it relaxing to look at a toilet. <laughs> Even if I know it's perfectly sparkling clean. I just, it, it harsh is my mellow. It's not the right vibe. So that's why that looks like some kind of weird chair right now. And I'm gonna bring in my roses. Oh my gosh, I haven't shown you guys my roses. Oh my gosh. But I made like a little shrine in advance for bringing those in here for tonight. And then I also cleaned up so the bedroom feels fresh and relaxing. Like I just, I don't think it's relaxing to be in a messy, hectic, chaotic environment where everywhere you look is like something you need to do. So put things you need to do away. <laughs> I stuffed some stuff in the closet that are like projects I'll get back to tomorrow. But for today, I just needed to not have any clutter. The only clutter that's out is, well, it's a lot of clutter. It's facial clutter though. So I have my tray of all my rose stuff. Um, I have my laptop stand so I can zoom and have like some girls time while we're doing facials. This is my face steamer. You guys are gonna make so much fun of me. But I made a flower crown, just hot glued roses onto a headband so that I can be complete full rose fairy princess tonight. <laughs> and um, I'll have to explain another time what the crock pot is for, but that is essential to the home facial. And long story short, we are like totally set up in here. I'm so excited. I'm having such a cozy moment opening my mail. So many cute cards. Oh my gosh, just Valentine's Day is just everything. Like 
so much cuteness. And then this year my heart is just like pounding on myself. My heart is just so full because of all of my Galentine's love. It's just so special. I love it. Um, I don't want to actually get, get this many cards all the time. It's because we did that card exchange in the Milk and Honey Life Top Secret Club. And um, I just, I think everybody really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed it. It was really fun to get so many cards. So, plus I have some cards from other friends and some of them are just so perfect that they need to be commemorated. So I'm currently working on stringing all of these up into a giant Valentine's garland. So I think that'll be really exciting. These are the things that tickle me. <laughs> okay, all of these typewriter cards just get me like deep in my soul so much. But I just opened this one and I gasped. <gasps> Look, how cute. Oh my gosh, I'm just, I'm just freaking out at how adorable that little drawing is. Thank you so much, Melissa. That's so cute. Ah, I love it. Also, my friend Amanda put these stickers in with her card and oh my gosh, they are so pretty. They're really like smooth feeling too. It's hard to describe, but these are gorgeous. And then like those roses, so on theme with me right now. And I love that there's a little coffee press, so cute. So that is the shop that it's from, but oof, adorable. My heart is exploding into pink and red confetti right now. And it's just <gasps> so happy. <laughs> so happy, like, look at all these cards. They made the cutest. All right, we need to like really look at these. So cute. Ugh. I like that one's by Rifle Paper Company. I love their cards. Oh, Nate's walking in the door with the doggie. Hi, honey. Look at all of these. Oh my gosh. Anyway, this is my card stash. Look at that one. That's from my friend Maria. Oh my gosh. Pink flamingos, retro trailer. I just love these so much. I love the typewriter love. So sweet, so sweet. Thank you guys so much for everything you send. I love you all so much. I love my Valentine tree. It's already got birthday gifts under it. It's turning into a birthday tree because my birthday's in one week. And those are Valentine gifts for Nady. Ugh, I'm just, my heart is so content. Did I show you guys? I hung this Cheers to Love banner in here. I had this from my girlfriend's um, engagement party and I was like, why not make that part of the scene? <laughs> Thank you. Scooby-Doo. just brought us some water. And this is just a super simple dinner, but I made that fiacchetti. <laughs> Feels like I'm cursing. Fiacchetti pasta, and I added some, just some frozen peas, like so easy. And I forgot to get greens somehow at the grocery store, so we're having like a tomato feta side salad. But something easy, because I'm eager to get to spa night. It's facial time. I'm super excited. I have all my products out. Like I said, let's do a separate facial video so I can properly share this with you and heat up my facial, facial steamer. I have rose tea. <laughs> my favorite one is this brand, Tulsi. Um, I have a big ice water and I just, I'm so ready to just pamper my skin and do some skincare, self-care. <laughs> this is the aftermath of such a nice, lovely facial. Oh my gosh. Rose explosion. Actually, I guess this is the aftermath. Like, are we seeing the glow? I'm a little pink because I always turn pink when I fuss with my face. But in the morning after doing a home facial like this, I wake up so smooth and relaxed so relaxed the time has come i am going to just dive in like an olympic swimmer into this bubble bath <laughs> so i have about a million candles i need to light in here and this is the wine on the menu for this evening um i don't oh, i want to focus Hmm. Oh, it finally focused right when I gave up. 
Oh boy, let's wait. Okay. <laughs> I don't usually drink rosé, but I've been trying to cultivate more of an appreciation for it because it's pink. <laughs> and it's like so aesthetically pleasing. And look at this one. The bottom of the bottle has a rose carved into it. Isn't that so stunning? Gorgeous. And I was also really excited that this came in a half bottle. So... I like miniature sized bottles of wine, like individual or two glasses so that, I don't know, I feel kind of like I might waste it if I open a whole bottle and like Nate's not going to want a glass of rosé. <laughs> He's more of a bourbon guy. So this little tiny little half bottle is so perfect and it's just gorgeous. It has this like glass cork for an affordable wine from Target. I just thought this was beautiful. So perfect wine choice if I do say so myself. And I also have two macarons that are rose flavored, of course. I mean, the like American pronunciation is lottery, but just the most beautiful, beautiful French macaroon, macaron chop. And they also have a whole line, like it's just such a mood. So they have a few locations in LA. So I picked up these rose ones to enjoy, like having a snack or a treat in the bath is so decadent. Like with your fingers still wet and you just like, just take a little tiny bite out of a macaron. I don't know, it's a special moment. And we've got Epsom salts and rose. This is my favorite brand of bubble bath, the Lalia, and it comes with a rose. This is their rose one. We have some pieces of rose quartz because I'm taking this to the nth degree, y'all. We have rose water and ivy candle scent from Bath and Body Works. I love it. And more rose quartz and candles. I'm gonna try this rose shampoo and conditioner from Pantene. That's one of my favorite shower gels favorite body oil ever. <laughs> These beautiful little delicacies are actually rose soap petals. So I'm so excited to try those. I have a variety of masks, even though I just did a whole facial, so it's really, really overkill. But I might pop on a sheet mask <laughs> just to seal it all in and do that hair mask. This is a Lush bath bomb that was made for this spa night. And that's a Lush Rose, um, like a bubble bar. It's old <laughs> and it's only half of it. I just found it the other day and I was like, oh, perfect. And I have my Rose Quartz Jade Roller. I whipped up this little um, body scrub just with sugar, coconut oil, rose hip oil, and rose extract or rose essential oil. I'm going to stir in some rose petals. <laughs> And then I don't, I mean, I don't think I'm going to put perfume on in the bath, but it could happen. Amazing Grace Ballet Rose. That's the Bath and Body Works cream. It's just so nice. And then, oh my gosh, we haven't talked about the star of the show here. Holy moly. So the other day, Nate went out to do some quote unquote errands. And he came home with four dozen roses and I just oh my gosh I <laughs> cried I felt like a princess I freaked out I was so excited I've never seen this quantity of roses in one place like it's so big I don't think pictures or video do it justice and he also I have to say he picked out this vase and he did such a good job like it's the perfect size vase for this insanely gorgeous quantity of roses so I was just so thrilled, so thrilled. I thought that was so sweet of him. He did such an amazing job. So of course, these girls are invited to the rose bath theme. And I'm gonna go ahead and run the bubble bath, light all these candles. It's gonna be so peaceful. This is already just the best bath ever, and I haven't even dived in yet. So here's the moment when it really gets magical. I turn the lights out, and then we are at spa level zen retreat. I always tell you guys it's all about the lighting. Candlelight, oh, so pretty. 
Yeah, good boy. You want to get in the bath? You want to get in? <laughs> Time to add this baby to the water. So excited. I love a lush bath bomb. It is the most indulgent thing for the bath. Okay, that was the most charming romantic bath bomb experience of, of my entire bath bomb career, of which there's been plenty. <laughs> but I just love that it left, oh wait, that's a rose petal I added, but I love that it left these rose buds in the water. That is so charming. It smells so good now, oh my gosh. Also, it'd be kind of wrong not to acknowledge the perfect water glass from this bath. This was from Disney when they first launched these enchanted rose tumblers. I love it so much. It really, really completes my theme. And you gotta hydrate in the bath. I'm adding some dried rose petals to this body scrub I made earlier. You can always just get super creative with doing DIY things save a little money. Also, I happen to own the majority of this stuff already. I just never put all the rose things together in one night and that makes it so magical. And I was so lucky to get several amazing rose gifts. So I was like, this is perfect for my theme. Excited to wake up and have my coffee and use my cute Valentine mug. It's the little things. Happy Valentine's Day. Good morning. Cheers to love. Time to kick off the day with a little baking. Nothing says loving like something from the oven. And I'm gonna be treating both the men in my life to some home-baked goods today. <laughs> I'll make the dog treats later this afternoon, but for now I wanted to just get the cake baked so it can be cool by the time I want to decorate it later. This is one of my favorite vintage cookbooks. It's actually like a, I think a part of a larger cookbook, but it has ideas for all the holidays. It's so cute. So my idea for this year is to make the heart-shaped cake. These pans have been in my family forever, by the way. My mom would make my birthday cake every year in these heart-shaped pans because my birthday is after Valentine's and I've like, always been a girly girl that loves hearts and pink and everything. So these pans are really special to me and I also got this smaller one and I thought it'd be cute to layer the cake like a small heart on top of a big heart for this year. So that's my baking inspiration. I'm just gonna get these in the oven. ready to go in the oven. I have a little extra, so I made an extra little ramekin, and I hope these turn out. The cakes are done. I don't think these are the prettiest cakes ever. I kind of overfilled the pans and maybe cooked them a little bit longer than necessary, but they are going to frost up beautifully. I always flip the cake over and ice the bottom since that's the perfectly flat side, so I think they're going to come together nicely and I can trim a little of the rounded, overfilled parts to make it a perfect heart. So I'm gonna let that cool for the majority of the day and frost that up this afternoon. Good morning, by the way. <laughs> My face felt so soft, like softer than it has ever felt since I was an infant this morning. So that facial was a win. Pretty sure I like transmogrified into an actual rose at some point last night and then <laughs> gently floated back into my human form during my sleep. <laughs> but I woke up so contented, like I was sleeping on an actual pile of rose petals. It was lovely. And I have my dashboard confessional t-shirt on because I'm going to a concert later, going to a concert. And I had the perfect pink shade of skirt to match my shirt, so that made me happy. <laughs> Feels extra valentine -y. I love pink all the time, but especially today. 
And now I'm gonna make breakfast and I'm nervous because I'm trying to make Nate's favorite, which is Eggs Benedict. And that's so hard to make at home. It's a perfect thing to order at a restaurant. I don't know how they do it, <laughs> but I always try and hopefully I'm getting a little closer to perfecting it and we'll see. We each celebrate Valentine's in our own way. Oh, they're... Runny yolks! Runny yolks! They're so <laughs> juicy. Poaching eggs is so hard. I'm so relieved. It was some drama. No. <laughs> it was totally smooth sailing. I would never say a curse word while cooking. <laughs> and this was my mom's hollandaise recipe from 1974. That has I was been, pushing it. That has been <laughs> safeguarded. All this time by my sweet aunt who passed it on to me. Sweet. DC, you look so handsome in your pink bow tie today. You look very stately. You're a good doggy. You're gonna get a special treat. You want a special treat? A little homemade loving. You're a good boy. You're so handsome, buddy. So I'm about ready to ice this cake. This is my inspiration. This is a vintage vintage valentine cakes are like a whole thing they're so cute and i thought this was so pretty with the two tiers of heart shape as you see that's where i got my inspiration but i think i'm gonna do the bottom one with red frosting and the top with pink so it'll look extra valentiney and then i'm also gonna make dc some treats my friend ash sent him some for christmas and they were so good well i didn't try them but according to dc they were so good he usually doesn't really care that much about treats but he was nuts for these, so I'm gonna make him a little batch of his own special Valentine's, obviously all doggy safe, and it's gonna be delish. I'm so thrilled with my cute little kitschy retro Valentine's cake. It looks like something I think a fabulous grandma would make. <laughs> I'm really happy with it. And here's one of the towels that I embroidered. These are DC's little treats. All of these ingredients are dog safe and approved by my vet and I won't be giving him a big quantity. Um, so obviously everybody has strong opinions on what you can feed dogs, but I did my due diligence. I'm just going to let him have a little taste of the fun today. I thought they turned out really cute. And we have a Valentine charcuterie, all pink and red and white themed. All the treats I got at Trader Joe's yesterday. So I'm very excited for that. And I'm all set up for my live concert. <laughs> it's going to be streaming here in our living room in a minute and 30 seconds so i'm super excited to like start this valentine's party <laughs> this concert's so good <laughs> i can't believe i'm emotional from a living room concert <laughs> Oh, 
was so emotional. <laughs> that was such a good concert. I really didn't think a home concert would get to me like that, but you can take the girl out of the emo scene, but you can't take the emo scene out of the girl. <laughs> this band, when I was in high school in like 2004, was my jam. So it was really fun to rock out. And also this was our last concert before COVID hit. We saw them like exactly a year ago, pretty much in LA. And um, I don't know, like all the emotions of the pandemic and quarantine and lockdown hit me with like seeing them a full year later, but having to do it from home. So it was just emotional, but it was really, really nice. The live stream was so cool. Um, Nate was the perfect date as always. I got to feel my feelings and sing my heart out and just let my emo flag fly. So <laughs> perfect Valentine's. DC, do you want a special treat? Did mommy make you a special Valentine cookie? That's cute. You're a good boy. <laughs> you like these treats, don't be like that. <laughs> good boy. He's so civilized in his bow tie. He is the cutest little Valentine. Continuing the live reporting from Valentine's Day 2021. <laughs> and we just enjoyed our time together. And then we haven't been hungry because that charcuterie filled us up pretty well. So now we're having a late dinner we're going to eventually. <laughs> Nate went to pick up food. Um, and I was going to get like all gussied up, but we've done that for every holiday in lockdown so far. And then I thought, <laughs> no, <laughs> hopefully this will be our only, hopefully our only Valentine's Day in lockdown. And we're more the type that likes to go out when we can. We always would um, go to Disney or out to dinner and movies or like Hollywood Boulevard or something fun for Valentine's Day. So this might be our only Valentine's Day at home in theory. <laughs> so I was like, let's jammy it up pajama party. And I just thought that was kind of fun. My hero has conquered the ocean and brought it home. <laughs> we have crab, we have lobster and hush puppies. <laughs> and we're gonna have a little romantic little meal here. <laughs> Hi again, it's Monday now. I spent the whole day playing catch up from our fun weekend and just getting back on track and starting a work week and all of that good stuff. But I wanted to come back on to properly sign off. And also I want to show you my Valentine's gifts. If it looks like a princess just kind of like melted here and left her things, <laughs> that's because that's exactly what happened. I feel so, so lucky that I got these beautiful gifts. So these two are from Nathaniel and he did so good. Like, I did not expect this at all, but he got me two beautiful candles by the French brand La Durée that um, I love their macarons. Oh my gosh. Like, just look at these boxes alone. Like, so beautiful. I don't know how he got wind of this even. I don't remember ever telling him, but I um, wanted their Marie Antoinette candle. Oh my gosh, it smells so good just from, like, opening the box. Their candles are out of this world, look at this. Oh, so beautiful, like gorgeous ceramic candle jar and it just smells so good. This is the Marie Antoinette scent and it smells like a bit of rose and honey and citrus, just so good. <laughs> and then, so that's the one I originally wanted and then he just like took it upon himself and got me a second one I wasn't expecting him to get any of them. Look how beautiful it has the cameo on it. And this is the Marie Antoinette um, garden scent. And I, from what I can tell, it's just like a little stronger on the rose. So obviously a huge home run. And then I also was just gonna show you guys what I got myself because I try to practice what I preach and um, I tell you to treat yourselves. And so I treated myself to this rope. Okay, look at like the picture from the Amazon ad. See how it's like a beautiful flowy robe? <laughs> it's not quite like that in real life. The, this is sort of like a ripoff version of a very expensive robe I've always wanted by um, Catherine Delish. And you know, you get what you pay for. This was like the cheapest version of it on Amazon. 
But I just love the idea of being like this extra in a flowy, see-through pink fur-lined robe. So I decided to treat myself for Valentine's Day. And yeah, the quality is not quite there. And it keeps like shedding these little pink fuzzies. So everywhere I go, I leave a big cloud of fuzz, like a little pink cloud, which I guess could be worse. But um, anyway, I love robes and I thought this would be a fun one to have in my collection, even though it's a little bit of a dud, but <laughs> it's still a fun, fun kind of silly, just, just because gift <laughs> for yourself, because sometimes you got to treat yourself too. So that was a very lovely Valentine's Day. And as always, I just want to say I'm so happy I got to share it with you. Thank you so much for watching and joining us and celebrating with us. And please, I hope, feel the love from me and my little family to you guys, all of you. I know Valentine's Day is a hard holiday for some of us, um, but if anything, I hope maybe this video might have given you a little idea, <laughs> a little inspiration. And yeah, I'll see you very soon in my next vlog. Bye.